Positivity. Do you have it? Do you want it? Stay tuned to find out how to get it. My name is Kate. Thank you so much for joining my channel today. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, well, thank you for coming back. So positivity, it's a thing and it's a thing you should strive for. And I feel like in our society nowadays, people are are rewarded for that negative behavior. But the reality is in real life, in your real job, negativity is not rewarded. In fact, most people do not want to be around a negative person. And if you find that when you're walking into a room, everybody leaves, that might be a sign that you're negative. <laughs> so today we're going to learn how to change that behavior so that we can be the positive person that people want to be around we can be that positive person that can uplift people, and we can be a positive person that is a role model to others. All right, here we go. How do you become a positive person? Well, really, truly, and honestly, positivity radiates from inside. It's not something that you can pretend to be. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, great, sleepy teacher. Um, how am I gonna become a positive person? All right. For some of you, it's gonna take a little more work than others. <laughs> if that was your first thought, <laughs> we might have a little more work to do with you than others. However, all is not lost, okay? <laughs> okay, so the first thing I wanna tell you is this. If you are the type of person that is constantly complaining, guess what? When you walk into a room, people are gonna disperse. <laughs> People are gonna to start to avoid you. And in your workplace, you really wanna have a good balance of work along with social. You want it to be a cohesive group that is working towards something. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna tell you, and this is one that I struggle with myself, is being competitive. I want you to remember, and I will, I will say it up front because if any of my coworkers are watching this, they're gonna they're gonna leave a ton of comments down below about this. I'm super competitive. However, <laughs> however, I try very hard to be competitive in a fun way, right? And there are people who are competitive in a negative way right where they sit there and they'll complain or say so and so cheated or that's not fair or this or that when i compete i'm pushing my students to do the best they can i'm pushing myself to do the best that i can and if i lose yes i'm disappointed but i can still be happy for the other person and that's an okay way to be a positive way to be competitive <laughs> Okay, um, if you're my coworker, don't write anything down below. All right, moving on. How else can you be positive? Doing something nice for others when it is least expected. Here's what I mean. So for teacher appreciation, I mean, this is like one example, right? And I have a lot of examples, but this one to me really sticks out as something super important, okay? And even though it happened last year, I really want to talk about it. So, teacher appreciation last year. As teachers, we the parents are constantly bringing us in things, right? They'll bring us lunches, they'll bring us Starbucks iced teas, they'll bring us coffees, they'll bring us little baked goods, things like this. They'll bring us gift cards, things like that, um, just to show their appreciation for everything that we're doing. Love it, fantastic, thank you. But I thought about it, and there are a lot of teachers at our school that don't fall into the classroom, right? They're a specialist teacher. So we have our PE teachers, we have our music teacher, we have our art teacher, we have our gardening teacher, we have our secretaries, we have our custodians. A lot of people, we are all one cohesive group working together. So rather than just taking everything for myself, I thought, you know, I can guarantee the majority of these specials teachers and the at, you know, the office staff and the custodians are getting nothing and they work really hard too. So, whenever I had something, I would have one of my students deliver it to one of the specials teachers and I would tell them not to tell the person who it was from. Whenever I hand something off to somebody, I do it as, um, what do they say? Sprinkle kindness like confetti. And it's not for me gaining any sort of um, 
recognition from them it's because i want them to also be appreciated for what they do and quite frankly when somebody comes to you with a present um it's you know anonymous or not it just kind of brightens your day and then you want to do something nice for somebody else and so on and so forth it's kind of like you know paying it forward and um anyway so that's another way that you can be positive doing a random act of kindness so another way that you can be positive is Stop and laugh once in a while. The world is an amazing place to be. And how did Ferris Bueller say it? If you don't stop and smell the roses, no, how does he say it? Let me look that up. <laughs> it's, let, me, let me see how he does it. You know, I don't remember. Okay. Life moves pretty fast. I'm, re I'm reading it. <laughs> I'm totally reading it. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. <laughs> I was gonna pretend that like I knew how to say it, but I didn't remember. Anyway, so I think that that's, those are some very valid points and I want you to do me a favor. I want you to leave me a comment down below about something that you did recently that sh either radiated positivity towards others or towards yourself. And I will just tell you this, the more positive you are, the less negativity that will surround you. And I'm not even remotely joking about this because the more positive you are, the less likely negativity is to come find you. And I think that you will find your life to be a lot happier <laughs> as a positive person. So if you are not a positive person, you can work towards it. Don't give up. All is not lost. I promise. <laughs> All right, you guys, from the bottom of my heart to yours, cue the footage. And today we're talking about, are you negative? there sleepy students I'm so glad you made it to the end of one of my videos I know that's not always the easiest thing to do but if you want to see more you can click over here to check them out and it's totally okay because it's called binge watching and we all do it so enjoy